Andre and Jennifer are racing to finish a grueling three-hour finale cook that will determine which of them takes home a $100,000 prize and the title of Canada's newest Master Chef. The final dish, your dessert has to be ready in two minutes. You got it, Dre, come on. Two minutes? Got Oh, that's nice. I cannot find words to describe how I feel. I've never been so proud of Andre in my life. Come on, Andre. Go for it. Looks great, Jennifer. Just to see Jennifer in her element doing what I've always known her capable of doing is amazing. Woo! One minute! You have one more minute left! Come on, one minute! Come Let's on, go! Get it out. Come on, guys! Look how soft that ice cream is that Andre's scooping out. It looks gorgeous. Whoa, let's go! Wow. These dishes look pretty incredible to me. Yes, Jennifer! 15 seconds! Finish strong, finish strong. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Head up! Amazing. That was incredible. <laughs> I've literally given everything into this cook. Like, I'm super wiped and I'm super pumped that I just finished it. You did it! Oh my gosh, that happened. That happened. I'm so proud of myself. We did it. You did it. Wow. We were. Now it's time to taste your final course. Please follow us into the banquet room. Come on in. I feel so grateful and excited. Like, the emotional roller coaster doesn't quite capture it. It feels like when I used to do track and field in high school, just feel nerves, nerves all over. Well, Jennifer and Andre, I bet you're dying to find out what we think of your first two courses. Let's start with the appetizers. Andre, your lobster and Callaloo rundown was bright, colorful, and packed full of flavor. Wow. You know, I really enjoyed the rundown sauce. I just wish there was more of it. Mm. And there was one little misstep on your plate. It was those dumplings. They were a bit tough. Jennifer, after tasting Andre's succulent lobster, we weren't sure how celery was going to compare. But your ants on the log won over even the demon chef. The blend of flavors and textures elevated this dish into something truly unique. And now for the entrees. Fusion done poorly can be more like confusion, but this was not done poorly. You took the best from Caribbean and Korean cuisine and put it onto one plate. I just couldn't stop eating it. I finished the entire plate. Oh my gosh. And there's no better compliment than an empty plate. Oh, thank you. Jennifer? We've come to expect every dish that you create to tell a beautiful story. And this one was no exception. And your flavors, perfect. But there was one problem. Oh. My lamb needed more time in the pressure cooker. I'm sorry, chef. Right now, I just feel like it's anyone's win, honestly. Congratulations. We both got good reviews. Andre, please tell us about your dessert. Today, I have a deconstructed toron. I paired it with a stout sauce, also a Chinese five-spice waffle, some caramelized plantains for the crunch, and the snow is a grapefruit soda snow. I'm a sucker when it comes to the desserts, and I just love a really well-presented dessert. And this looks inviting. It looks fresh, it looks clean. Well done. Thank you, chef. Andre, I love the different elements in here. You have the Caribbeans, you have the Philippines, you have the Chinese all put together. But what I like is the balance of spice as it goes from the ice cream with the Irish moss with the nutmeg. And then it goes to five spice into the waffles. And then you end it with the grapefruit. A great blend of spices of different textures. Just a small tip. It's missing a little bit of salt. 
because sometimes on a very rich dish like that, salt can cut it down and bring out more from the spices. Okay. The ice cream, it's just perfect. Perfect consistency, flavor, texture. That is a great ice cream. With the backdrop of the wonderful crumbs, which does represent sand in a kind of way. It's part of the Caribbean. It's certainly what I look for when I go to the Caribbean. <laughs> This dish to me is modern Jamaican. It is really sophisticated, but yet it's very playful. And I see that you really pushed yourself to hit a new height. It's amazing to see just how far you've come. It's amazing. Thank you, chef. Watching the judges taste my dessert was a real treat. It feels great that they understand exactly what I tried to do. Jennifer, please describe your dessert. Tonight, I've made one of my favorite dishes, treat cereal. There's a chocolate soil in the bottom. I've puffed a variety of different rices. I've made some marshmallow meringue. There's a chocolate ganache bed for the sugar-cured egg yolk. And I've tea-smoked milk. This isn't just a dessert. This is an experience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Jennifer, that first mouthful is a bit of a mystery as to what's in there. The second mouthful, it starts to define each flavor and texture. That subtlety of the smoke of the milk, that rich, complex flavor of the ganache, the texture of the puffed rice, there's something grown up about it. If there was one adjustment, one caveat, mm -hmm. I would like just a little more sweetness but it really is a tremendous dessert. Thank you, Chef. All these sweet cereals that I miss as a kid, the ones I crave, I recognize it all here. So my dream has come true, but in a sophisticated adult way. Oh, thank you, Chef. This dessert is absolute creativity. It's somebody who's really mastered technique, flavor. You can't teach this. This is one of the most original desserts I've ever had. Thank you, Chef. I kind of just wanted to give them some of the sense of wonder I have felt the entire time I was here. I'm just so happy. <laughs> Andre and Jennifer, I think it's safe to say that the three of us are floored with the quality of both these meals. We're going to need a few minutes to discuss. Thank, Thank you both. Thank you, Chefs. Thank you, Chefs. Jennifer and Andre, those chef's jackets that you're wearing are a symbol of what you've accomplished and of where you're going. A career in food is unfolding for both of you. Both of you made incredible meals that we felt privileged to eat. In the end, we decided that one of you took us on a culinary journey that cannot be denied. That home cook will win $100,000. This trophy and the life-changing title. This year's winner and Canada's new master chef is... Jennifer. Oh my god, Andre. Oh my god. I am Master Chef Canada. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so I finally figured out what I want to be when I grow up. Or like not totally grow up, but you know, I figured out what I want to do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a winner, honestly. I'm not leaving with the trophy, but I'm leaving with a million skills, new friends, and a new path. We Thank did you. amazing, Thanks, Alyssa. You should be so proud. I'm definitely not scared to step into the culinary world anymore. Just can't wait to go on it with my dad. It's going to be great. <laughs> This whole thing has felt like such a fairy tale for me. I have so much gratitude for like every single part of this. 